Here's a comparison of the results that I got for when the ground is considered a PEC versus an SIBC. And here, the SIBC, sigma is equal to 0 0.01 Siemens per meter. We can see that the results are very similar. The characteristics of the null is just slightly different. This tells us that the ground parameters are not nearly as important for predicting the propagation of VLF waves around the Earth ionosphere waveguide as the ionospheric conditions or the source frequency. Now about this result, since we're not seeing a big difference, the ground is not always going to be 0.01 Siemens per meter along the propagation path. We know that from the global conductivity plot that we looked at earlier, there are locations where the ground conductivity will be lower. Or if the operating frequency is higher, the loss tangent will be lower, and we may no longer be able to assume the ground is a good conductor. In these cases, we will need to be we will need to use a more advanced surface impedance boundary condition that works for lossy dielectrics that are not necessarily good conductors. Remember how we talked about VLF transmitters having counterpoises under them? I reran my simulation so that there is a PEC under the transmitter for one cell. PEC for just one cell, and then there is SIBC beyond that for the rest of the grid. And here are the results. We can see that the results for the SIBC everywhere, which is red, along the propagation path, versus SIBC everywhere except under the transmitter, are identical. So this tells us that a counterpoise is not needed if the ground conductivity where the transmitter is located is a good enough conductor. Counterpoises start to become important when the transmitter is in a location where the ground is not a good conductor. Now if you're in the 6340 version of this course, try running your model with the SIBC along the bottom of the model and set to the conductivity of, say, 3.33 Siemens per meter corresponding to the ocean and create a plot just like the one shown here where you compare the PEC results with the SIBC ocean results. And what do you expect to see?